Thanks for using MathChops. Here's how to get started. When you log in, you'll see three tasks at the top of your screen. The first one sets your level. This game adapts to you as you answer questions. At the end of the game, you'll get a score prediction. We use this prediction to set your level on the site. To make sure you don't miss any important questions, we'll start you at a slightly lower level than the one you earn on the game. The next task is to beat the level challenge. This is the only way to raise your score on the site. In this game, you have three lives. If you beat the game, your score goes up and all the games on the site get a little harder. At higher levels, the questions are harder and there are more of them. The score you achieve on the level challenge is a very accurate score prediction. If you're getting a 590 on the level challenge, that's about what you'll be scoring on your practice test too. To break through to the next level, you need to build skills. That's where our last task comes in, the category challenge. Category challenges are short games that target specific levels of difficulty. The game you're seeing now is just for linear equations level 590. If you get six right before you miss two questions, you'll earn the linear equations 590 badge. If you're stuck at level 590 on the level challenge, try working on all the level 590 category challenge badges. When you earn them all, try the level challenge again. You'll beat the challenge, and this is the best part. When your math chop score goes up, you'll see your practice test scores go up too. If you have any questions, just email us at team at mathchops.com.